there's a little pitch up here where we killed those birds last year that we can get to. Well, it's just breaking daylight. We got set up. We just went into this field blind and came around the corner and there was turkeys gobbling. They're just down over the hill. There's at least, sounds like two toms and then one farther down. Zach called to them a few times and they responded to that. So there's a pinch up here in the field where two fields come together. I think Zach and Warp or Zach and Doug killed one there last year. We're kind of set up in the same spot. It sounds like these birds are coming and uh, let's see what happens. I mean, that's hilarious. The, the last morning that you guys are here, and we were so frustrated to walk in, and that happens right off the roost. <laughs> good job, dude. I, mean, I think it's a good move putting that decoy right off whatever point or corner this is. Yeah, you know, they, they think, think the they hen's have, back there. And they think they gotta come around that corner to see it, and then they see 
Old Jake. <laughs> Come in and beat it up. Friend gets knocked down. Some dude jumps out of a cedar. <laughs> <laughs> we, we totally could have got a shot at that other thing. <laughs> Even Ben got a little antsy. Oh well, that's awesome. We got done what we got wanted to get done. <laughs> Good job, dude. There's still tons of other turkeys. Oh yeah, dude. Cool, Let's dude. Let's go do it, man. I'm looking excited to check out this brush on him. <laughs> Fan him up there, dude. Yeah. Here you go. You got your little Iowa barring on there. <laughs> what do you think about that guy? Dude. Sweet, man. That's sweet. Yeah, they totally just hit that opening, and I mean, we could tell the gobbles were. We could tell when they flew down. We could certainly tell when they got to that ridge top because it was just unobstructed, and we could hear it. Figured they were coming right around that corner, and they hit that gap. We put the decoy in an awesome spot right here on the field edge, up against this grassy strip. As soon as they came through that opening, they could see it. Had any bird come from that way, he could also see it. Yeah. This spot just worked out pretty perfect because there's two cedars right there we yeah. can pop into. And, I mean, there's no way they would see this. <laughs> That's a heck of a problem. Oh, That's awesome, man. Gosh dang. What you got? What you got for the hunt? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That'll do. You're going to shoot them regardless of what those look like. <laughs> That's sweet, dude. Dude. <laughs> Congrats, man. That was super fun, dude. <laughs> it was worth all that that headache, huh? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm so happy for you, dude. Heck yes. Heck yes. First Iowa animal. First time putting a tag on my Iowa. <laughs> well, we're gonna head back to the truck now. We're not that far from it. Zach's gonna get his gun. His bird's gobbling all over. And we need to jump on him now. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're walking back now. There's birds gobbling all over this place. It's pretty evident that there's not a lot of pressure here. But I always say about Iowa, the one advantage that we have is that we know where these turkeys are because we're out here on this public land all year. But a lot of times, that's what turkey hunting's all about, is just knowing your area. That's why sometimes we struggle on these out-of-state trips, even when the bird population is pretty good. We don't know the area. We don't know where the birds frequent. We don't know which areas get pressure. We're going in blind. So just like when we were in Ohio and while we're here, we just know these areas really well and that really helps us out a lot. So get out there, do some scouting. I can't stress enough, and I'm sure all the other guys would too, know your turkey hunting area. Try to learn the land as best as possible. Sometimes you'll get lucky and have a hunt like we had this morning. But we're gonna go back, drop this bird off so we don't have to carry it around or let any coyotes get to it, and then we're gonna get back in there. But as long as this rain holds off, I think we got a pretty good chance. Happy that you got one before the rain? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keith? I'd rather shoot rain birds. <laughs> yeah. Another beautiful rain bird day. <laughs> Hi there. We were just, me and my buddies were just out turkey hunting on uh, the, we found a beagle. Um, if there's any way we can help you get him back to where he belongs, we'd love to help. Thanks. Bye. Got lots of ticks on you, guy. <laughs> so do I, though. It's fine. Life's good, huh? 
just out here grinding it out, hunting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we looked over and coming over right towards us and just sitting on my buddy's lap now, just hanging out, so. If you don't mind, yeah, we'll just keep hunting here until we decide to quit and then we'll bring the dog home. Yeah, no. Yeah, no problem. We're actually really enjoying it. So, yeah, no problem. See ya. We'll get we'll get her home safe. Well, we've been sitting here hanging out with uh, what we now know as Diamond. We just talked to Rose, at least one of the owners of the dog, and she said, "Hey, it's cool. She was out here hunting last night. Saw some big doms." She said, "Diamond's cool to hang out and hunt. She's just gonna sit with us. Keith's gonna hang back and." Hang out with the dog. Pretty odd day. I never thought I'd be leaving with a turkey and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today was pretty wild. Pretty hilarious day of hunting because because of the dog and I'm just super happy and relieved <laughs> that we finally got one. Yeah, we hunted four days this week. Yeah. Four full days of hunting yeah. and a lot of screw ups. Yeah. A lot of missed calls, close calls. So this morning we got up, we decided let's just go to a new spot. Mm -hmm. Uh, we came in, the, the kind of the strategy this morning was get to the pull-off, get in here right about first light when they start gobbling, and then just go get on the first group that we can get on, and at, at three or 400 yards, we were on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't always happen like that, but this is actually, like I was mentioning earlier, this is a spot that Aaron, my dad, and our friend Steve were hunting last year, and we shot two turkeys right back in the same area. If you've had success on a spot in the past, it generally is going to happen again. Yeah, we honestly may have gotten could have gotten closer to those birds off the bat mm -hmm. there was a good opening in the fence where two fields came together and zach knowing the area knew we put the decoy out there they'll see it from that opening and run right in yeah. if, if it's a group of toms which it was yeah yeah this is my first out-of-state bird um first time hunting out of state yeah for anything yeah and had a lot of fun yeah, i mean I it, that's what's fun to me is hunting with your buddies and getting to different areas I and mean, yeah. we, mm -hmm. we covered a ton of ground this oh weekend. yeah <laughs> and i would love to look at the pedometer <laughs> Yeah, we did cover ground. You brought up a good point, though, and that's that was something I wanted to mention is just hunting with your buddies. This this season has been awesome because for basically two weeks I've got to hunt with you guys. And before we started doing this new new thing we got going now, you know, we weren't able to do that as much. I was able to hunt with my dad. I was able to hunt with these guys, and that's what it's all about, truly, for all of us. Hunting is about hunting with your buddies. I wouldn't want to do this with myself. It's a lot more fun to do with your buddies. So if you got buddies that are hunting, you know, get out there with them and go. Cause like, that's what it's all about, yeah. I guess. So thanks for coming out, dudes. I really appreciate yeah, it. Hey, thanks for having yeah. us. Glad we drew that tag. <laughs> hey, and you know what else is a first on this trip? This pupper. Picking up a dog and hunting, <laughs> hunting with a dog just sitting in our setup. Pretty cool. <laughs> fun day of hunting. Good job. I don't think she barked once. <laughs> we, get, we gotta get her home. Yep, now we're gonna take this dog home. <laughs> <laughs> well, Diamond has been returned home safely. Happy owner. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, happy owner with a lot of tick work to get done. <laughs> that dog had like a million ticks on it. Yeah, we, we thought we were bad. Yeah. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this video. Please like and subscribe and comment if you got some stuff to tell Ben, you know, about how he, how he shoots or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.